When you look at our business, there are one or two things that are absolutely clear. It's a business responsible for over 90% of global commerce. A business operated by skilled professional people. It's also clear that it's a business experiencing rapid change, massive technological advances, including automation. But when we look at the impact automation has on the ship's personnel, the people who actually make the business work, well, maybe things aren't so clear. And that's something we'll be looking at in this issue of Alert. If you're familiar with this series, You'll know that Alert is a forum for discussing the many human element issues in the maritime industry. And it features contributions from maritime professionals around the world. So, what about automation? Well, it should make life easier for the seafarer and it should make operations safer but what happens if an automatic system is not fit for purpose? What happens if it's not set up correctly, regularly monitored, or properly maintained? What happens? And there's another problem with automation. At sea, operators of equipment or systems need to be constantly aware, with an instinctive feel for something not being quite right. Yet, automation can reduce the role of the operator to that of nothing more than an observer. Someone who simply monitors screen displays, warning messages and reacts to alarms. There is no doubt that automation has dramatically increased the number of alarms on board, so it's crucial that seafarers are trained to recognise what those alarms mean and what to do about them. For example, when a system is overloading or about to fail. We need to be careful that these alarms don't distract the operator or create confusion. Coloured light alarms, or bells and sirens, are an essential part of safety assurance provided by regulation, classification and safety management for the protection of equipment. And of course we need to remember that it's the appropriate response of the crew that enables safe operation, not the provision of the alarms. So the design challenge is to provide alarms that switch attention without disrupting the primary task. The fact is, even with so many bells and trumpets, wire sensors and data to control and monitor, not all automated processes are reliable. So despite technological advances, nothing exists yet that will replace the officer of the watch in his or her duties. The greater control achievable by automation allows engines and systems to remain within close desired operating parameters, thereby reducing the need for maintenance. So engineers now tend to rely on automation and have less experience manually controlling the plant. The trend is towards centralised operation and integrated automation systems to provide effective control of cargo and machinery systems. The problem is, the operators can be overloaded with too much information, especially in abnormal situations. Preventing this overload places certain demands and obligations on the people involved in the development of automation systems. Poor integration of information systems on the bridge and in the engine room, plus the move towards an increasingly passive monitoring role for seafarers, can present an increased risk of unintentional human error, in turn leading to accidents at sea. A lot to consider then for the owner, operator and those who design and build our ships. And there's also something the seafarer should consider. Today we have wonderful tools at our disposal which help us to be safer and better protected. But the operator needs to apply engineering or nautical common sense before making a decision. When extracting the information from automated systems, the operator needs to ask the question, does my engineering or my nautical common sense tell me that this information is reasonable? And do a credibility check before acting. Stop. Think. Decide what he or she is going to do. And then do it. 
rather than pressing the button without thinking. There's no question that automation will become more widespread and almost certainly more complex, but... As we said earlier, the sea is still the sea. And despite technological advances, nothing exists yet that will replace the officer of the watch in his or her duties. That's it for this program. You can view and even download this issue from the Alert website, where you'll find other views on the subject of automation from marine professionals around the world. It's well worth a read. Hope to see you back again soon.